Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. And in this video, we will learn how to do data analysis in Excel without using any formula and almost almost have some automatic data analysis done by Excel itself using the capabilities of Office 365. So this is our example over here. We have some data for these people mentioned over here in column B and in row number two, we have the months mentioned January till December and from this point till this point we have their sales mentioned. So let us see how we can do data analysis automatically. So for that what I'll do is I will go to the home tab over here. So I'll select my data like this and then in the home tab I will go to conditional formatting over here. If I click on the drop down, this contains one of the best automatic data analysis tools. So first of all, you go to top bottom rules and you get this six options. Top 10 items, top 10 percent below 10 items, below 10 percent above average, below average. So this is automatically some data analysis done for you. Let us see if I click on top 10 items, it gives me this pop up. First of all, so it will highlight top 10 items like this. And then you can change the top 10 number from here to 10, 5, 15, whatever you want and change the color. Top 10 items should ideally be green, not red. So I'll change the color from here. Okay. It has identified top 10 items for me in one second. My one of my analysis is done. I'll select the data again. By the time this video ends, we would have done our data analysis here itself. I go to top bottom rules again. And now I try to identify below 10 items. Again, I can choose the color, but below 10 items should be in red only. That should be a good color. We have one of our basic analysis done top 10 items top bottom items so now you know simple i am doing a control z to remove this my data is selected again this time i'll go to conditional formatting and i'll go to bottom top bottom rules and i can then try top 10 percent and this can be green so these are the top 10 percent same way you can find bottom 10 percent also then i'll come to another aspect of it go to highlight sale rules and here you can set certain conditional formatting based on some criteria like I go to greater than I say that everybody's target was minimum 30 sales. So anything that is above 30 should be highlighted with green color. If I want to find any other color, I go to custom format. From here, I can choose font, border style, fill color is here. I choose this color. I say okay so this is now people all people above 30 they are highlighted simple right I select that is third option that we saw I go to highlight cells again next type of data analysis I can do is I can find numbers that are between a specific range I say I want to find numbers between 10 to 20 to be highlighted in red color. Click OK. So numbers between 20 to 20 are highlighted here. Maybe these are the people with low performance and I want to speak to them. See, without any formula, you are able to do it. I press Ctrl Z. I press Ctrl Z to remove this. 
Now, once again, there is one more beautiful conditional formatting option that is there. I select the data like this. Click on conditional formatting. I go to data bars and I choose gradient fill. Based on the value in the cells, the cell itself now has a small bar chart in that telling how much full that value is. So it works best when you have small data. Like just for this column I want to do it. It will look much better this way. So, how it can be utilized? The best utilized for such a conditional formatting data analysis is if you have a total column. So, if I do total for this and then I copy it like this, right? I am using Format Painter to make it look the same. Now, if I want just this cell to be highlighted separately. Then I go to data bars. I choose this color. And then based on the numbers, there is an inbuilt chart that you see. You can simply look at it and tell. And over here, the best part is if you select it, you can clear it like this clear from selected cells when you're trying to put it again from more rules you can choose show bar only option just click ok and the numbers will be hidden and just the bars are shown simple now i'll show you another way of doing conditional formatting so let, for example, let's come back here and remove this conditional formatting. We select that area, we click on conditional formatting, we click on clear rules, clear rules from selected cells, we have our numbers back. Now, while this is selected, I go to conditional formatting again and I go to icon sets. From here, I can choose directional options, shapes, traffic light, indicators, ratings, and let me choose traffic light. So automatically the top values the are shown in green, the lower values are shown in red and the average values are shown in yellow. See this? Automatically it does that. Same way if I intend to change this. I can use a shapes chart like this. So top values are in green, medium values, average values are in yellow and the lower values are in red. Automatically it does that analysis for you. Isn't this cool? So that is how we go ahead and data do data analysis. In fact, you can do this on the complete set also. Like this, I select it. I go here, I go to color scales, another option to create heat maps. See? You can use this also. And if I go to icon sets, I can use an icon set with directional values here. So all the top I values are in green. The average values are in yellow and your lower values are in red. Isn't this cool? So this is how we do data analysis in Excel automatically using conditional formatting. I hope you like this video. In case you want to see more videos and download, download practice files in Excel, you can go to myelesson.org and download them from there. So until the next video, this is your Guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.